What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a modern. We're doing a modern video. Me and uh, me and Hat Mike, otherwise known as Nick, here, um, and uh, we're playing this this spicy torrential gear Hulk summoning trap deck that we brewed up. We've never played it before. It could be terrible. It looks really good on paper. Ideally, you want to go summoning trap at the end of turn six into a torrential gear Hulk, and then you can summoning trap again into an Emrakul if you don't hit an Emrakul off the first one. And then we also have, like, Torrential Gearhook into Advent of the Worm, which is sweet. Uh, we can go Torrential Gearhook into Summoning Trap into, you know, Consecrated Sphinx, which is just a new addition that we had. And uh, ideally, or if they, you know, Counter Courser of Crewfix, you can just play Summoning Trap for free on turn three. So, we'll see. We'll see. I think this deck, uh, it looks super cool. I like the idea of going Gear Trap, Gearhook, Trap, Emrakul. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I'm excited to... I'm super excited. I I feel like this is the deck we came up with last night because I'm like, what did we what did we first? Yeah. So originally, uh, my coworker Colin, he was like, Colin, hey. that's so like him. Yeah. He was like, I really like Advent of the Worm and I want to cast it with Torrential Gear Hulk, and that's why I brought this deck to you. And then you were like, why don't we just do Summoning Trap? And I'm like, I like Summoning Trap too. And we have two Pact Mitigation just to... Um, Protect ourselves. Yeah, because like if you're able to cast a Torrential Gearhulk or a Summoning Trap naturally, um, you're going to have the mana to go off. Or to, to, you know, to pay for the Pact. Right. So that shouldn't be an issue. Well, this is this is this deck's probably going to be an issue. We have we have sideboard cards for it, including Ceremonious Rejection and Stony Silence. So hopefully yeah. that will help. Gearhulk can't flash, flashback trap. I'm pretty sure it can, but why? Uh, why do you think it can't flashback trap? Yeah, let's 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 go through your let's go through your explanation as to why it can't do that. At the point the the torrential gearhulk is in play and you're putting its ability on the stack, summoning trap is now summoning trap has a, has fully resolved and it is in the graveyard. So I'm very curious as to why you think you can't do that. Ooh, this is good for us. That's that's worse for us, unless we draw Stony Silence right now, well, we don't. and a White Source. Okay, we didn't do. We didn't do. I got a Mana Leak. Whatever. Hi YouTube. Hi Future Me. I suggested replacing Sphinx, and then they're <laughs> trying it, so that's fun. <laughs> Future Me. Remember this time you did a thing. I remember. I remember Future Me. Wow, they got a forest. Yeah, I'm really confused. I'm very intrigued by everything that's happening. Any chance of alternating picks draft next? I don't know if I'm going to do another one today, but Nick's going to be here for a while, and uh, we do have two more days of Vintage Cube, so if, if Nick's up for it, I'll do it. Yeah. We've been having a good time streaming, though, I think, so. I think so, too. I'm glad. How's, how's Twitch chat been enjoying the stream? You guys having a good time? Yeah. Are you like these baby noises and these bone shredder noises? I'm not making baby noise right now. I will make the bone shredder noise. So do you think that's better? Yeah, a little bit. No. <laughs> and we get to resolve Jace. And then we just hope you don't have a tower in hand, I guess. Um, we need white source, so we probably played Misty. Now we can, we can keep it next we, turn and get yeah. the white source and then just crack it for... Just a month. Boom, boom. I feel like if they had tower in hand, they wouldn't have gone through this whole. I agree. Whole, like you uh, could have had it a turn sooner. Like yeah. you kind of needed this. Um, there's a gear Hulk. So we're gonna put back path and then rainforest on top of that, so we can draw the rainforest and shuffle. And we do have packed mana. Yeah. Hat Mike is the most lively of the mics. That's true, actually. I th yeah, I, I think so. He's a lively boy. Yeah, I'm just very excited to be here. I, I. I I love Frank, I love streaming, I love magic occasionally, Great. and I love the Twitch chat. So three, four, five, six, seven, this is where they go Karn, exile our Jace. We could respond by Pact of Negationing it. Feels we're, bad. Well, we're, we're dead. Dude. Oh. Kill Jace. <laughs> yeah, he's killing Jace. That's really okay, though. I don't mind this line that you took. What if back there's path underneath, so we could actually play this, shuffle it, to try to hit. Oh, I guess we're not going to hit because we got this guy. Well, all right, so we get a turn. We're still going to play this guy and 
Misty Rainforest because we don't really want a land. All right. I mean, we could still go on end of turn summoning trap Emrakul. Like it's yeah. Not... I... They could have played Karn that turn because they had seven mana, so yeah, that, that... would have been better. So I assume they don't have Karn. Right. And then Ugin can't kill our lands, which is nice. Yeah. And now we can pack things. Like it's gonna suck, but like if they play Karn and we don't want them to do that, we can pack it and still pay. I don't feel good about it. It frustrates me that you don't get more view. I, me too. I don't. I, it's weird because I've been streaming consistently for months now. But you know, it is. It is what it is. I think my viewers and followers are super supportive and, and awesome. And uh, if that's the compromise I have to make for getting uh, as good of an audience as I get, I am okay with that. All right. So, Lotus Cobra could be good. Lotus Cobra might be better than Sakura Tribal. Yeah, actually, possibly. I think it's more explosive, but not as consistent. But it's also unlike Sylvan Carry added and unlike the other one. Yeah. Um, it's a card that is good. Like in the late you can attack. Yeah. Right? You don't have to not attack just to get its abilities. Hey, can you right. give a fun step can can you give a fun step for my first step? What I, I don't know what that means. Six what is this? What are you doing right now? Ugin? Yeah, no. That's... Actually, do we even care about that? Next turn we summoning trap? What do you do? You XL three, right? Who cares? Ugin doesn't do anything right now. Yeah. You neg three, or you lightning bolt us? Sure. I guess we don't have to do that now. Because then they just get to see what we draw. Yeah, and that's not good. Yeah, this is just fine. I will get a uh, hollowed fountain, I guess. And we'll go temply. All right, I think we're actually in pretty okay shape. We can go trap into Gear Hulk into trap. Look, we're gonna do it. We're gonna yeah. make it happen. Yeah, like if we don't get Emrakul in the first summoning trap, we got a Gear Hulk. We got a Gear Hulk. Does Prime Sub auto renew? It does not. You guys have to auto renew yourselves. All right, your damage does. That's reasonable. Yep, saw that coming. Sanctum of Eugene. That's okay. fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. Doesn't trigger your Sanctum. And now you only have six mana, so... Are right, you ready? I'm yeah, really excited. I'm excited too, man. And this is against Tron, which is a real deck. Granted, our opponent has made some questionable plays, but... Don't do not do that. Don't be that guy. What do we got? <sighs> Nothing good. That sucks. It's okay. It's alright. We, we have a Gear Hulk in our hand. Yeah. So... It's gonna get coarser here. Any order. Tribal... So it's play land, which actually puts us one closer. Um, I think we path this guy. Yeah, I think so too. We'll attack Ugin. And we also got another land on. Oh, never mind. I, I thought it was Oracle and we'll die where we just get to go boop boop. But we don't get to go boop boop. No boop boops. So yeah, we're just gonna go uh, let them do their thing, and we'll and then end of turn Gear Hulk. Yeah. Whew. All right. Uh, we might need a third. Um, Packed. No, we might need a third. Emrakul. Okay. Yeah. Because right now we have three Gear Hulks in the deck and two Emrakuls, so that's five. So we have to hit. We only have three gear hulks in the deck. With left, there's one right here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking about like we have five five cards to hit out of forty two. Yeah. So, like with this gear hulk, we're gonna be exiling the summoning trap. So like if we hit another gear hulk, we're not getting like what we want out of that. So we do need to. I feel like we have to pack that actually, because then they just kill like literally everything. Yeah. I think they're done. Yeah. They got one card in hand, so I don't really feel like I'm too threatened here. And then Gear Hulk ends up. Alright, one and six. We could also uh copy the pact. Come on, Emrakul, one time, boy! Ooh, Consecrated Sphinx is good. Gear Hulk, we don't have another target for yeah. it. 
Yeah, we'll just get Consecrated Sphinx. That's 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 still pretty good. Yeah, and we get to attack with it this turn. So. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can pay five and then play Tribe Elder. I will I will prevent that. We can also kill. Yeah, that's pretty good too. All right, Mana Leak. I also get to kill Ugin. Yep. So. Ugin, Ugin, your face. Pretty sure we're gonna shuffle this mana leak away too. So. Yes. They have one card. I feel like we're in good shape, but who knows? And we get to draw two. Oh yeah, let's shuffle it now because I don't feel like drawing the mana leak. Deck's working. That's out. better. That's better. Oh yeah, draw them two cards. Uh, Sphinx and Leak feels bad because we only have well, we have one mana, and also mana leak against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 mana is pretty bad. Yeah. This is actually perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we just tuck them right back. And we get to play this, so shuffle them away. Leaving Snapcaster up for what, though? Packed? Probably. I mean, we had to pay for our packs. We had 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5... We searched for one land, and then we could have not played Tribe Elder to keep up packed. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, that was a good one. That was like this is like the one card we just didn't want to see. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, but and he got into a mod. Yep. All right. So actually, we should have kept Snapcaster. I forgot about packed. I didn't think we'd have a relevant counter spell because it basically cost five. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty good. All right, so that was our mistake. Yeah, being able to counter that and still keep up, like, they'd, we'd probably win this game. This game would probably be over. We'd get to draw another two cards. One, two, three, four, five. We'd still have mana for Jace. I'm actually packed on... Uh, you and you play you. Just get a breeding pool here. I mean, Ulamog is going to suck, but being able to, uh, like, we're going to be able to counter it, and that's that's fine. Because um, you still got a torrential gear hook on board, right? Plus, if they actually plus Ugin to kill Jace, they don't have really. They just kill two lands. Yeah. So, yep. Do we want to just Snapcaster the uh, the Pact and keep the Gear Hulk for... It's future summoning trap shenanigans. Yeah. I like having the threat on board. I, no, because we want to kill Ugin. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Plus, we also have tons of mana. We can Snapcaster summoning trap very easily right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So even if they kill two lands, like, it's still fine. Yeah. Which they will do. This is the only card I think we know about, so. Three, four, five. If they didn't play this, we could actually mana leak the Ugin, which is kind of a little mog, which is kind of hilarious. Exalted Snap does kill Ugin. That's actually a good point, but is that better? I feel like this is just a better use of mana. Yeah. Let's just stick with the Gear Hulk plan, and then... Um, yeah, we can do this now. I want to make sure we're doing this correctly because there's a lot of things we're going to counter it, so. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. We could also path it. Yeah, I think path would have been better, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think path would have been better there. We're still familiar with the deck. We just put it together, so. Yeah. Getting familiar with the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play something for three. Keep up Snap Path, I guess. They have one card in hand. We can just kill, kill another Ugin, which is fine. Yeah, Snap Path would have been better here, but. What can you do? 
If we didn't have to deal with these Ugans, we'd probably be winning this game by now. But... You got something? What is this? Dismember. Really? Yeah. Because now we can snap path. Oh, man. Or snap... Uh... I guess that's fine. It's obnoxious, but they have no cards in hand. Yeah. So, you know what? Sure. You got it. I don't want to play Noble Hierarch because then they just kill it, so, so that's pretty bad. Right. All right, well, your last dismember. Now you're in top deck mode, so, you know, don't draw anything good, I guess. <sighs> this card needs to be banned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we get to keep six land, five land, seven lands. I guess they kill one land and one Gear Hulk, so. They get Breeding Pool, yep, sure. You got it. Sure. Resolves. Yep. Still got summoning trap, man. If we hit a summoning yeah. trap or a consecrated sphinx, like we still have. Yeah, like we still have like game, like seven mana. We still have a Jace. That's a dude. Actually, one, two. Yeah, we just play the Hierarchs and kill it. That's again. gas. <laughs> oh my, it's a very big Snapcaster Mage. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Peace out. <laughs> you were like really upset about that. And you're like, oh wait, no. This is enough. I hadn't, I had an, uh... Oh. <laughs> no. Nothing but top decks from the Tron from the Tron deck, I see. Oh, well, we get to hit a mana leak here. This sucks because we're literally locked in drawing bad cards for the next couple turns. Yeah. We could have actually we could have pathed one of our own creatures. <laughs> Let's see how many dead draws they have. Okay, so one, perhaps. So now now they're locked. Actually two mana leaks might do something. Yeah, I was gonna say two mana leaks is still like a big game. They have 17 mana. Like, it's going to kill everything they have. Or not going to kill anything they have. Like, it's, they, they're still going to really cast everything. Yeah. Sure. That's not a dead draw because it just filters itself and you have a million mana. So. Yeah. Actually, now we could potentially counter something, but not really. One of the first... Okay. Sure. Card. Five, six, eight, 11 mana. Sure. You got it. Deal. Okay. All right. Well, live draws. Let's go. Come on. One time. Pretty good draw. It's not terrible. We can't use it to beat up Karn. I mean, they only have Karns and Worms left, but they have 25 cards in their deck. They could just hit lands. Anything I can do about that? Probably no, that's not. fine. I don't care about that. I'm gonna wreck it. Oh, come on, dude. That's so stupid. They'd be dead if we didn't have to deal with their planeswalkers. But if we don't, they just kill the worm, so. Yeah. Noble Hark. Sure. Noble Hark would be gas, but I think we're out of Noble Hierarchs. We have my I think we have one. Yeah, we have one, I think. Trips Nobles. Yeah, we got one left. Mono Towers dot deck. not terrible heavy breathing 
our, I, we're at a point where our, it's it's got to be like we have two gear hulks left. I think that actually probably wins us the game. Yeah. I think so too. We exile probably consecrated sphinx. Yeah, like. Yeah, let's just exile consecrated sphinx in case like they're playing like. Unless they, unless both emerkles and two of the gear hulks. Um. Are not in like, in the top seven. If unless in, none of them are in the top seven. Yeah. Then we should be okay. This is unreal. Yeah, we're definitely adding a third number call. Yeah. All right. Hierarch. Because, like, we're not going to get any value out of Snapcaster Mage. And if we, like, end up shuffling the deck, we could draw it again to flashback Snap. Uh, like that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the sad thing is, like... Like, we if we kept the Consecrated Sphinx, we'd actually... We could, be, we could play it off the Hierarch. Right. This game has been a trench fight. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. And we've whiffed every single time off the trap. I really want to add. I think we need a little more. Yeah, I think so, too. Like, and it's one of those things. Like, we wanted to, like, test it out. See, like... Because there have been times where it's like, we have too many Emrakuls and this sucks. Yeah, but you have Jace, too, to shuffle it back yeah. in. Which is which is huge. Like, you didn't have that in... Pre in previous Yeah, that's unfortunate. History. Sure. Do we have anything to get with this Misty Rainforest? Probably, right? I can't imagine we've gone through all of our lands that we can... Oh, come on, are you serious? Tech plays four. That's three of them. They've also seen two Ulamogs. Two Ugans. Like, they've seen more of their threats than, than we've seen of the cards, and we've looked through, like, 21 extra cards from yeah. summoning traps. Trap. Oh, really? Like, last turn, this would have been great. The timing is just so frustrating in this yeah. match. Because we had Summoning Trap and Advent, and we just draw Snapcaster Mage the next turn, which is like, both of those are fantastic to... Yeah, and we would have been able to get Advent and the Worm back. Correct. Or Summoning Trap again. Yeah. Yep, you got it. <sighs> what do we have? One Summoning Trap left in the deck? Trap. Trap. I think we have two. Do we have two? Two is better than one. Yeah. How many Jaces do we have? None. Jace, Jace. Eh, Jace. Okay, so no Jace is left. Sure. I no longer have two blue anymore. Four, five, six, seven. Any land we can play Snap Summoning Trap if that's a thing that happens. All right. If they don't have anything, like, I'm good. <sighs> Found one. No Jaces to shuffle back either. That's unfortunate. Here we go. have another forest i feel like you can't have another forest right four is probably the upper limit on it this is five five yeah then that's definitely the upper limit on it well, i'm not gonna just play snapcaster actually do i just play snapcaster for might no as well like give him five turns six turns whatever yeah no no pathing we don't have any islands left in the deck right no okay it's gonna be another emerald Hey. I don't want that guy though. Whatever. It's a big they go to nine and then when they go to five and then it's five, so whatever. Sakura Tri Builder, do your job. <laughs> give me give me two dead draws from the opponent. Sakura Tri Builder can attack. Uh oh. 
Yep, never never fails. I mean, here, move. Let me let me get one of these coasters. There you go. Oh, exile, cool. Here, have the summer call. Nice. I don't think we have any basics left, so. Oh, packed on top. That's not the best. A little too late. It's too late to apologize. And we, like, we just, like, attack him, right? We can put, the, yeah, yeah. Like, because attacking Karn is not going to put it anywhere that, like, he's going to minus anyway, so we might as well just keep the pressure on him. We could plus. I guess if we play Sucro Tribal, they don't plus because they have to get rid of it. But they could just draw. They're just going to top deck Oblivion Stone, so it doesn't matter. Right. Well, if they top deck Oblivion Stone, they have to spend time putting it. Uh... He's going to restart the game now because this game cannot end. Yeah, that's how it feels, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want to draw packed. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about any of these cards. Is it worth it to shuffle? Yes, yeah. because it's we're drawing something blank. Right. The the other issue, I mean, because they can just exile this guy anyway, so this is never going to be the clock yeah, that yeah, kills yeah. them. The clock that kills them was the name of the a short story that I wrote and for for a young adult fiction thing. All right, one time. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I do not even care. Yeah, we're just gonna go to your face. Put you to three, and then. If we draw Advent, if we draw Summoning Trap, all of these should be lethal. Yeah. We're just on the we're just <laughs> we're just on the draws right now. Whatever that means. You know what it means. Baby Jason, the deck to to loot is. It's not bad. You can also flash back a uh, Summoning Trap with it. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. So. Whatever maybe... happens, make. <laughs> oh, good game. Yeah, this game has been pretty ridiculous, and we get to Flooded Strand to. Uh, to thin. Yeah, it's a thin and get a second blue if we need it. I don't know how many lands we even have left in the deck. Two, maybe? I'm going to say two. Probably two. I think it's two breeding. None. It's zero. Literal none. Okay. They're all fetches. Wow, that's rough. Oh, colonnade. <laughs> well, they're going to probably hit that because it's lethal. So that's yeah. pretty good. That's a good one. Well, Karn goes to one, and we still get draws. We're not at any risk of having the game restart. I don't know if I have a win con left. Oh, fantastic. My exile looks full. Yeah, I mean, like, this is a lot of things. There's a Karn, two Ugins, two Ulamogs, a uh, World Breaker, at least one Worm Coil. I mean, it's definitely a situation where, like, you can't have that much more left. <laughs> we're just going to play it, because if they, they're just going to exile anyway, so. Yeah. Besides, we can shuffle. shuffle. <laughs> We're not, we're not going to. We're at eight, so I'm not. I have no incentive yeah. to. All right, what do we get? He goes to nine, then he goes to thirteen, then he goes to and then he restarts. So you got four turns. <sighs> That's really obnoxious. How do we win through that? I guess we they 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 get rid of their own Karn though, right? Well, they spend a turn putting a counter on it, and that's like our window. Well, they're gonna do it right now, I guess. So. Actually, they do have to get rid of this first, though. So, okay. Like, our creatures having flashes. We can't cast this. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, my God, the blue lands. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's brutal. I'm going to crack this anyway just to make sure. I, I know there's not, but if there was something like... Uh, Yep, you got it. No, just no, just take it. Just take it. <laughs> just get it out of here. <sighs> this is really sad. Ancient stirrings. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, just let's go to the next game. That's frustrating, dude. And we're just literally hitting all lands. All right, so... Path was very good. Pact was really good. Mana Leak seems terrible. Mana Leak's bad. Uh, bring in Ceremonies, Rejections. Stony Silences. What are we cutting, though? Advent seems pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, Stony seems OP. Um, are we 
you cutting consecrated sphinx maybe no this feels so bad yeah Advent was good. Maybe Tribuilder. I don't care about Tribuilder that much. Yeah. Maybe Snapcaster. It's a little expensive. And then we bring in Disdainful Strokes. Yeah, that seems great. Yeah, I like that. Oh, but Snapcaster is so much better with those. Yeah. I'm going to take out one Courser and one Consecrated Sphinx. Do we need to add more Islands? To uh, possibly. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... We have 16, 17, 17 blue sources. The problem yeah. is that they're killing our lands. Like, in a regular game of Magic, they're not going to kill seven or like, eight of our blue sources, right. right? So hopefully that's just a fluke. <laughs> we, should, we should put in Runic Repetition. What does that do? Return target exile with flashback. Oh, wait, no, it has needs to have flashback. Never mind. None of our cards actually have flashback. It's got a ceremonious rejection, so... Hollowed Fountain. Yeah. Seems good. It's not terrible. Deck name, different strokes. But we only have one card with the, the word stroke in it. I just said stroke in it. <laughs> Inapp inappropriate stream. Well, great. Inappropriate stream. Also, if you guys want to check out my thoughts on the recent bannings and unbannings, you guys can check out my Patreon page. I just posted any Frank thoughts today. Uh, about 20 minutes long about my thoughts on that. So go, go do that. Go listen. It, it can take you to work. Take you to work. Usually I would play the forests instead and save the windswept teeth to shuffle with Jace, but we want a second blue for that Jace. So we're not doing that. Yeah, that's fine. It's not a colorless card. I don't even care. Yeah. Did they... fails to find <laughs> yeah uh, tiny advantages you done messed up hey Ron. <laughs> I like it I got a breeding pool here <laughs> JC's two daddies he's got his hand swirlers I'm not feeling this to, go. to be quite as close as last game no, you're fine. Don't even worry about it. I like that we can keep this up and play Advent, and then the next turn, if we hit another blue, we can go Jason. Keep up Ceremony's Rejection. Which is pretty strong. Yeah. Deathrite Shaman is getting his own TV show. Everyone hates Deathrite Shaman. That's a good TV show. All right, so you got a mine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, we can Jason hit a land as well. That is an option. Yeah. But we're going to wait. I don't want to take down my Ceremonies Rejection Shields. Do I counter that? So, from my experience, like, you have a one-mana counter spell that is, like, free of... Like, it's... You get to counter whatever they play. Like, whatever big, dumb, stupid thing they play after the fact. Yeah. Like, so, I would say no. Also, I like being able to to advent here. Yeah. Because I don't want to use one mana when I'm, I'm planning on using four. And ideally, we're going to hit a blue source so we can... Yep. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> what? Come on. Oblivion Stone. Never fails. Never not... Now, this is this I'm tempted to do. But... Yeah. I, I wouldn't fault you for it. The problem is they untap with like a million man. I hate this deck so much, dude. really want to have Advent to just pressure them. This card is so obnoxious. It's really bad. I, I This is probably one of my least favorite cards because it kills everything you're trying to do on your side and they're able to play it and activate it so efficiently. Yeah. Like, this is turn four. They didn't even miss a turn and they literally missed with Sylph and Scrying and they get to go turn four, crack, play this, crack this, find a land, play Oblivion Stone. And it's just like, well, okay, cool. And even though I play this guy, like, I have to find an answer for this in, like, the top next card. Yeah. Whereas if I Rejection, I can play Jace, but then they just have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana, so they can either play Ugin, get rid of the Jace, they can play Karn, get rid of the Jace, or they can play any other Tron land and Ulamog and get rid of the Jace. And it's just, like, 
<laughs> this kills the worm. That is correct. I think it's got to be rejection here. Or we could have not rejected, let him play it. We'll play a Jace, and then it forces them to do this. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think there was... If they're playing, like... Oh, if they're playing a... Uh, if they end up playing, like, Ulamog, then they like they don't care about the Oblivion Stone. If they end up playing Karn, they're getting rid of your Jace anyway. So... Yikes. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, you're going back, and you can go back on top of that. All right, well. See, now I'm wishing we just kept it, because if they want to activate and kill this, that's fine. Because yeah. it's just a one for one. It's a, it's, a, it's a two for one, actually. I think we probably should have let it resolve, because I was planning on trying to save the advent of the worm, and now I realize we could have just let it resolve, play Jace, and then we get still get to keep up. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were, like that's like we drew a land so in hindsight right it, that's true actually at the time we didn't know we were going to actually draw another blue source so man stones for days if you know what i mean i bet you do it's not i wasn't really it wasn't that obtuse uh, what stone what i don't what just talking about my stones boy why are you talking about your stones that's if not... they want to blow this up actually that's totally fine can I path my own Jace to get a land? He was a creature at one point, but no longer is he. <laughs> no longer is he. All right, let's do it again, right? Keep putting that Emrakul further down. Yeah, I want to hit a land, and I want to hit. A, I want to hit a fetchy fetch. Let me get ceremony rejection land Emrakul. <laughs> I think that's literally what I said. I just didn't specify the breeding pool. You might be, you might be some kind of superhuman. <laughs> Universe is a simulation, guys. Now nothing matters. <laughs> Emrakul still matters. I'm yeah. oh, not Emrakul Ulamog. Yeah, that that guy's gone. Get him out of here. A goodbye. Oh, now we get to trap. Yeah. And we know. Did we know an Emrakul is there? Looks like we made it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so we're going to put you on top, and then we're going to put... Actually, we can put a path back. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Not you. Actually, Ceremony's Rejection off this guy is pretty good. Yeah. Also, Snapcaster Ceremony's Rejection, and we get to keep a worm? Oh, yeah. We just have control of this game. Yeah, exactly. Don't care. Like, actually, we do Emrakul. Care. Like, it just kills yeah. Emrakul, right? It's just utterly ridiculous. Yeah. One, two, three. We can actually... Yeah, we're just... Oh, but then we have to crack this and we lose the Emrakul. I think that's still fine. We're going to have an advent out. And a snap. It's a lot of pressure. What do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six mana afterwards? Do we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Like, if they... Did they play a land this turn? No. They just literally on top played a Blooming Stone. Yeah. Alright. Like, the fact that they haven't played a land this turn is kind of... Wait, they're not going to let us... No, no, no. They're not going to let us... They're No, no, no. It's fine. They're not going to let us untap with Jace. They're 100% cracking this before we untap. Or they don't have the mana for it, and then we just get to... They do have the mana for it. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, sure. Um. Now they don't. <laughs> nah, now they don't. That's interesting. All right, I'll add a blue. Do we want summoning trap now? Why? To get the Emrakul? Uh, yeah, we probably did. Can we still do that? I don't know if we can s not search. We're already in searching. We, I don't... we have to search, yeah. Wow, that's brutal. I just ruined it. I mean, we could still spin the wheel. Did they play a landy yet? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just let that go. Because if they, if I don't want them to post combat, play a land, and then throw our yeah. All right. So well, I guess we'll just no gamble, no future. Torrential Gear Hulk. Any order. Summoning Tramp. Yes. Let's do it one time. Come on. Torrential Gear Hulk. <laughs> Oh, come on. It was so close. Man. Cancel. Uh, yeah, we'll just target this. Fine. No. Um, Just what do we get? A white source? Yeah. Just get a temple garden. It's still 10 power on board. Whatever. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, play Stony Saw so they can activate. 100%. Um... I want Disdainful Stroke. I don't think I care about Path if we have all these other cards in hand yeah. now. Yeah, we have Snapcaster, uh, Ceremony Rejection, and Disdainful Stroke in hand. I don't think they're... I mean, then Torrential Gear Hulk. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I think Double Gear Hulk. What does it mean? <laughs> all the way across the sky. Stone, stone. They've drawn three Oblivion Stones this game. That's pretty good. We also took a lot more time there, so we were we were ahead on time. Now we're now we're below on time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They don't have Ulamog mana, which is nice. Sure. You got it. I'll I'll get an Urza's Tower to play by Ulamog, you dubby. I mean, even if they play Ulamog, we just flash in Worm or Gear Hulk. And then we... Well, they're going to get rid of both of these. Oh, yeah. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> Did they whiff again? No, what'd they get? They got a tower. tower. Sure. Now they're going to play Ulamog. Because that's what they... All, you always have it. And, that, like, I mean, we can still, like, Snapcaster the Ceremonious Rejection and... Yeah, both of those guys. Or do you just want the Gear Hulk? One, two, three, four. We have six mana. Uh, we're going to Disdainful in Advent. That's that's probably better. God, they always have the counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> Never didn't have it. Green, blue. Worm. I'm gonna have six so we can hurry up. And then oh dude. And then, like, if they deal with this worm, we can get hold back the advent. I got worms for days, bro. You don't even know about my worm. Um, okay. Um, I'm just going to put these back. We'll play one. It's lethal both ways, I guess. Yeah. All right, your move. Well, is the only thing I care about, because, like, if you try to resolve a Karn Aura in Ugin, we just get to counter that straight up. Well, like I said, do you, do we care about Ulamog? Because we're going to get, like, 10 power. 10 power! World Breaker? Oh, he's exiling that, so we that's... probably want to counter that. Yeah, but it's still the trigger still resolves. Oh, that's right. So we're, they're still going to wipe the board with this guy. Shoot. That's... Gah. Yeah, that's fine. What are you going to do? I can't do anything about that. Now they're going to pop this now. If they pop it now, then... Yeah, that's actually fantastic for us. Yeah, because... Yeah, and now we... Yeah. Let it resolve first, and then end of turn, we'll gear Hulk. No, I'm just going to do it now to counter this. What? I'm going to counter oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to counter the spell. Dude, I I'm thinking <laughs> we want to do Advent of the Worm. I mean, we still could. We'll just Advent of the Worm. All right. And then we'll... That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There you go. Advent of the Worm. Get your, get your stupid Ricci boy out. Get them. Get them. Oh, we did it. God, we're so good at this game. We are very good at this game. Hey, this is what it's like to be good at the Magic of the Gathering, eh? Huh? Why did he say it like that? Yeah, why did you say I it like that? I don't know, man. Deck seemed fine, game two. I'm like... going to cut one path. Okay. Like, they don't have that many creatures. And we have a lot more spells that deal with their creatures. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hat Mike earning his pay. Yes. I'm paid so much money now. He's paid nothing. Wait, what? Hmm? I could have sworn he said I was paid nothing. I was just streaming it. Oh, okay. Nothing. Ba boom, 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 ba boom, boom. Our opponent's like, how do I beat all these cool things that my opponent just did? Just two more kidney stones after this one, they said. I was like, that's not. I'm half hat, Mike. Is my hat on crooked? Half hat, Mac. Is my hat on crooked? Happy fourth. And there definitely will be fireworks. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> Just came in from Arcane Brants and I see this deck. Happy Fourth in there. Oh, that. Oh, that's literally the map. Yeah. Okay. I was like, wait. Slave is a strong word. More like prisoner with good work ethic. Work ethic. I like this hand a lot. If we can hit one land, but then what do we do after that? I think right. we gotta ship it. Yeah, this is better. Keep them. Keep them and sneep them. Keep them. Uh, sneep, top. Sneep them. I said top. I don't know why you didn't do it. I do not know why you not do. What do? I don't know why I took two there. Don't care. Just gonna just gonna roll with it. It's really gonna be a time a time crunchy game here. It's Crun gonna be a crunchy boy. Old crunching on some time. Man. Well, okay. let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> let's not do the old uh, we're so fast we skip through our turn time crunch. Let's do the time crunch again. Yeah, I don't care about any of these things because you have a, you got you got a one lander. Wow, you are a maniac. It's Tony Silence. Dang, that's actually pretty good though. And you got to crack two? What? They're basically dead. Yeah, I like snakes. Ancient stirrings because they always have it. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. That's <laughs> sure. All right, so now we just get to Jace. Oh my God! Ding, 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 ding! We get to do this instead. All right, your move. <laughs> now we just have to win the game, but that seems like it's going to be easy with Advent of the Worm. And now we get to keep up Ceremonies keep Rejection up and play Advent. Uh, no, it was two days ago, and I own three of these. Yep. That's Actually, a I own four of these. That's a blank. Yeah, I own four of these. Jace. You and you. Play you. Play no play. Attack! I mean, we're actually in real good shape here because we have also have Celestial Colonnade. Yep. I mean, the only bad part is if they hit a land, but then we have Ceremony Rejection, so... Exactly. And it has to be literally Power Plant. It has power to be plant. Power Plant, which it probably will be because... Because <laughs> they always have it, or they concede, and... Deck is perfect. Bant Bicycle wins. And we call it Bant Bicycle because you get two wheels. <laughs> you get two wheels on Two that. wheels off the trap, boy. All right, we're going to add one of these guys. Yeah. Um, Do we like Lotus Cobra better? Yeah, do we want to try it with Lotus? I think we should try it with Lotus Cobra. Lotus Cobrario. What are we cutting for? Look at Hat Mike bragging about all that shirt equity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a real he's a real thing. You're a real thing, Hat Mike. I'm a real thing. Do we cut a land? Do we want 23 lands? I don't know about that. What's Emmy for? Uh, it's it's for casting. You actually play it, and then they, then they die because. So this is completely random. But does Hat like does Hat Mike like snakes? I just get this feeling he might for some. Uh he's in he's indifferent on snakes. I like them. I had no idea. <gasps> I've been such a fool this whole time. I had no idea. Look at all these lotuses we have. We got Gilded Lotus, 
Ooh. We got other Guild of Lotus. Ooh. Black Lotus. Hey, how'd you get that? Lotus Bloom. I same way I got the other ones. Oh, okay, cool. I purchased, traded, or acquired them through through internet games. Oh, neat. Look at that backwards O face. It says you love them, Hat Mike. You said you did. You said I like snakes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> yeah, I do love them. Can't trust anything that guy says. All right, so we put the third Emrakul in. Now you got 61 cards. What do? <laughs> Actually, you said you like snakes, and your shirt clearly demonstrates that you love them. <laughs> you clearly are not familiar with the degrees of human affection towards reptilian friends. <laughs> uh, do Dummy. We, do we cut a consecrated sphinx? But then, like, what's like our point was trying to hit more things off of this. Yeah, and we put in a number cool. So if we take out a Consecrated Sphinx, we didn't actually put more things to hit off of it. All right, you're right. <laughs> Just making sure. Also, I like Lotus Cobra better than Sakura Tribuilder for the sake of summoning trap. Yeah. Hmm. Take out Mana Leak? Go down to Mana Leaks. Yeah, that's fine. Do we want something other than Mana Do we want Remand instead of Mana Leak is what I was thinking, but I'm not sure. So... I do like... Remand is probably my favorite counter spell. Really? Moat seems good. Yeah. Yeah, Moat's pretty good. I mean, we do have Concerted Sphinx and, and Emrakul's. Yeah. Um, I'll be sure to get right on that that modern Moat. Yeah, like, Remand is my favorite counter spell. Um, it, I don't know if it's actually good. But I just don't like them having it... Oh, because I'm like, oh, I'll counter your threat, and they're like, I'll just play it next turn, and I'm like... Yeah, like, that's oh, my that's problem. True. Yeah. And we're not, like, putting on enough pressure to kill them fast enough. Our sideboard plan worked out really well against yeah. Tron, though. Yeah, dude. You you got you got luckiest Tron player in the world right here. So I can tell you all the sideboard secrets against Tron. Oh, we're playing it's just a useless ginger, so that's good. <laughs> What's their name? Sand sucks. I agree. If there was any green source, I'd snap it off. Yeah. Uh, it's still bad. Yeah, it's still very bad. Okay, I can work with this. Reasonable. Okay, no. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're being ridiculous. Where are we? Really? Really? I don't... You mean to tell me that they were Emrakul, Emrakul? If you're 100% willing to trust the Magic Online Shuffler, yes, there were two Emrakuls right next to each other, and not one Emrakul that just simply didn't get scryed to the bottom when we said scry to bottom. Puts one card on the bottom of their library. Good. Just making sure that's what we did. Yep. All right. Well, I guess we'll play this guy. I don't think we're winning this game, my friend. No, we're not. Oh, it was the third Emrakul. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it was. Uh, We're going to get a hollowed Fontaine. Would you kindly search for a hollowed... That's a... It's a Bioshock reference. I get it. Did you? Yeah, I got it. Did you? Yes, I got it. Okay, you don't have to yell, okay? Okay. What's the matter? Are you getting a little too excited because you like snakes instead of loving them? Snake hater. What? I don't hate snakes. I hate snakes. They're scary. <laughs> sure? What if you have one shirt that says I hate snakes on it? <laughs> but everyone just... And it's got a hamburger on it instead of a piece of pizza? <laughs> <laughs> you're like... What's this shirt? Hey, what's he doing? You're like, I'm just having an off day. Oh, look. I don't... This is where I'm at right now in my life. That's actually fine. All right, right, yeah. This is the least offensive thing you could have done. I don't think he got it. What is that? He got it. He got it. Is it wrong that I want to crack, kill my own just to get a third land? I don't, I, do we just go to the next game? I think so. They don't know enough of what we're doing, and I feel like we're advantaged in game two. <laughs> Did you need a checkbox so you can disable Tron matchmaking? Yes, please. All right, so what did we take out last time? We took out Mana Leaks Suck. One of these suck. Corsair. Does Corsair suck? We took one out. We might just need to take all of them out because we took out the Secure Tri Builders last time. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stroke, stroke. <laughs> Don't say stroke, stroke. 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 Did we take out a Jace last time? Mm. I would never take out a Jace. Okay. It's not a thing I would, I would do. Right. Be cool. <sighs> Did you say be cool? Yeah. Just be cool, Daddy-o. 
Did we take out Snapcast? No, we left Snapcast for Major. Yeah. We contemplated taking them out. Because we got all we added all like five of these goodnesses. Yeah. I'm gonna take out another path and we'll take out one consecrated sphinx. That's probably what we did. Or one Emrakul. I don't know. I think it's Emrakul. I think this is just a better card to draw. Yeah. Because you can cast it. Do I love it? No. I think it's keepable. It's 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 real borderline. Yeah. Popper is also 80% Tron. God, that sounds miserable, dude. Goodbye, third Emrakul. <laughs> I'll never see you again. I mean, if, if I had any hope that they would counter one of these, I would be on yeah. board. Right now, I'm going to mulligan. Yeah. This is good. It's fine. Sony Silence on the top. Yeah, I'll put you on the bottom. You're not looking. Oh, they went to 6 2. This useless ginger went to 6 2. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that it's so mean? I'm just going to get a breeding pool here. I'll, I'll take my beatings. Yeah, I mean, our life is irrelevant in this matchup. Our like, life is irrelevant. God, no wonder you're getting those ads. It's real dark, man. You're right. You're absolutely right. Don't say that. I love you. We're good friends. Uh, I, I I want you to be happy. Get in for one. It feels weird because the house feels super quiet, so I feel like no one else is home, but they are home. Yeah, everyone's home. I feel like Hat Mike is bad luck. Oh, dang. Wow. But we won match the first match. Yeah. And he was here the whole time. Yeah. Besides, without this deck, without Hat Mike, this deck wouldn't even exist. He's isn't going to flag this video because Frank talking about his talking about his opponent. What did I say? Oh, because I'm just like this is this. Is, it's a really abusive use of gi useless ginger comment. Life is irrelevant. Then they gut. Then they gut shot. They do. They do gut shot you for lethal. Regular Mike is at work. No, he's off today. It's it's the hey. We got Freddie Bones up in the chat. No, it's it's the Fourth of July, man. There's no way he went to work. Yeah. His car's gone. His car's gone. Yeah. They go to work. He might have went to his parents' house. I don't know where he went, Maybe. man. Felipe, did he tell you he went to work? Oh God, this is just car ain't there. <laughs> All right, there you go. Nailed it. I would sooner assume that he went to his mom and dad's to... Alright, he grabbed the, a second tower, that means he has a power plant. Tell me more. I mean, even if he grabbed a power plant, we'd know he had a power plant, so... Yeah, but now I can't cast Worm. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because it's good noise. It's not. <laughs> Let's be clear. Not a good noise. What if they just misclicked? He's going to draw a power plant, then. Okay, he just misclicked. What the hell? <laughs> That's very strange. We were playing against some of the worst Tron opponents I've ever seen. This is some life. of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Maybe I damp I don't like Damping Sphere because you're playing things like Torrential Gear Hulk and Snapcaster, and it significantly makes things worse because is he he's dismembering this hierarch. Worm. <laughs> yeah, green, green, white. Yeah, sure. Deal. It's a weird thing to do. They don't that, get to that, play more lands this turn, right? That no more hierarch <laughs> did f five damage to him. That's pretty. That's pretty sick. That literally puts them on three turn clock thanks to this worm. Do they got another dismember? Oh, they do. Oh no, they just got a relic. Ain't nobody got time for that. Cracking the relic. Yep. Sure. Sure. I'll, I'll be rejecting for days, boy. Five you. Five you. So it's safe to presume we can probably deal. What if we just kill them with, with worm? We probably are. Like I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you right. Unless here. like Ulamog is the only thing we care about, and they're they're missing their. Why would? Oh, okay. I was like, why would you play this first and then play this? Because you need to. I I know. I real. I caught it. But I mean, I was like, why wouldn't you try to get your land with this dummy? He's also not getting his land. This is all very strange. Oblivion stone. I'll say no. I will veto your oblivion stone. With counter spell. He's got a map. That I'm encountering. You're going to have to get that naturally, boy. Got him. Let's get a land. You like getting lands? Yeah, lands you, are good. You like lands, boy? Lands are good. Uh, land is good. You're almost like the Gordon Gecko of lands. Who? 
Gordon Gecko. Uh, who? Of Lands. <laughs> but I didn't hear the first part. Why would he just repeat the second part? They may have forgotten to put power plants in the deck. No, they had power plants last game. Side oh, it out. out. Side them out. Makes sense. I'm just going to play this guy. Because next time we're going to attack with Colin, both Colonnade and Worm are lethal. So I think we're going to game three, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! We did it. Both sides played hard. One heart, one side didn't play at all, really, but the other side played hard. So you do what you can do. What is this? Hi, it's Fitz with Slab My Nuts. <laughs> okay. Whoa, you went crazy. I stopped it. Are you submitting? What? Yeah, oh. like, deck's perfect. Dude, Ceremonies and Disdainful Stroke are, and, and Stony Silence, like... Yeah. Like... We have eight of them. We have eight sideboard cards. Let's see if we can draw one in our opening hand. It's, it's one of those things where people complain a lot about Tron, and I get it, because it's like, oh, it does, like, a lot of really bad, unfair shit. <laughs> No, cool. the answer was no. We couldn't actually have one in our opening hand. Okay, cool. Should we well, win? If, uh, if that Charger Gear Hulk was a summoning trap, I would say no. Because of all these fetches, definitely. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm willing to ride this one out because we have a Lotus Cobra and fetches. Like, because it, like, it just makes our draws that we do get liver. I'll agree with you. But what were you saying about Tron? I just wanted to make sure we got this out of the way first. Yeah, so, like, Tron does a lot of unfair stuff, but realistically there's a lot of sideboard hate for tron like blood moon dampening sphere disdainful stroke ceremonies the problem is it's very tron has a good way of fighting through those a lot of those things like they'll just wait they'll just be like yeah i'll just wait until you yeah like for blood moon dampening sphere i get that that's definitely true my apologies i i my apologies what did you say i said i said did uh, you say the f word no i said i said shit that's fine all right um You you can say shit it's fine you can shit all over this stream if you want, man. Um, oh my god. Seriously? We just hit two fetch lands in a row. But um, the cards like Stony Silence and Ceremonious Rejection are really, really hard for Tron to just like actually beat. Especially if you're a Snapcaster deck and you are <laughs> um, flashing back Ceremonious Rejections. Oh, good. Never did. Ceremonious off the top, so then we can ceremonious. Actually, that's good because we can play it and keep open and keep open ceremonious. Yeah, I'm I'm digging it. Uh, always yield to this. I will say yes. I lost my hat and my shirt. He lost the shirt off his back. I guess we'll just get a forest here. Yes. Blue. Jason's McMine sculpty. <laughs> Ceremonious one time, please. Hey, it's right there. God, we're so good at this game. And then we have Torrential the following turn. Yeah. Oh, God. That's brutal. We'll have one, two, three. This will be in play. We can crack it for four, five. Oh, I think we're actually one shy if we do that. Here's Ugin. No, I'm veto that. Uh, no. Yeah, Lotus Cobra is way better than uh, Sakura Dry Builder. I agree with you. It stays on board. It still keeps applying pressure. On the pressure. Um. What do we put back? What's what's underneath this one? Swept teeth. Rejection is definitely not bra. Nah, bra. I don't. I don't even remember. Chat. What do we put back? We got a hundred people versing one guy. <laughs> Temple Garden. I'm gonna trust this guy. I think it was Temple Garden. Yeah. So I'm tempted to crack this just to see three new cards. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Also, if we hit summoning trap, we can trap here. Wow, you okay, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna add a blue because we don't have a blue, and then we'll just crack it because I'd like to see the new cards. I want to see the new cards. And I'll add another blue. So many blues. I've got the blues. 
It's a lot of Gear Hulks. Holy smokes, man. Come on. Can we put back one of the Gear Hulks? No? Alright. I don't see a reason. Yeah. Like, I just want to shuffle the lands away. This is so bad. Because if this was a still a fetch land, we'd have one, two, three. We'd crack this. With the land that comes into play would get one, and the land itself would get two, so we'd only have five mana next turn. So we can't keep up Gear Hulk this turn. Yeah. We just kind of have to hope that... This is an, an, an exorbitant amount of lands for us to be drawing, especially with a Jace on board and having shuffled away. Yeah. No, I agree. You guys are going to Hooters later? Probably not. I don't I don't foresee a trip to Hooters in our future, but... Who, who? Yeah, hootie who. So... Is Consecrate... It's, I don't know. I'm still on the fence between Consecrate and Sphinx and Primeval Titan. If he's doing that, I'm okay with it. I think that's actually... Well, we lose a Jace and we have those two lands on top. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, if they let us untap, though, with a Jace, that's pretty gas. Just Jace first. I want to I wanna win Swept Teeth first, right? Well... I'll play this. I'll, I'll activate the Jace. Yeah, I was going to say, because, like, they crack and... Or, then crack the Oblivion Stone in response to us fetching, right? So. Yeah, so I'll just keep this on the stack. Yeah. Keep it on the stack. Keep it on the stack. I'm just going to get a blue land here. I'll play the two life. Yes. Green. Draw two. Be something good. Don't be an Emrakul. Oh my god, these lands are un unreal, dude. I do think it's kind of unreal. Like this is a, this is a ridiculous amount of lands. Just every time we've jaced, there's been two lands at least. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And now they are gone. Primeval Titan is slightly ahead for keeping Cobras in. So. Um, but like, what do you like? You play Primeval Titan, you get two two mana. Yeah. Is that true? Like. It could be relevant if you have Counterspell and Summoning Trap in hand. Then you can Summoning Trap, get the Primeval Titan, add two mana, and use that mana immediately to to counter something if you do it in response to their spell. Yeah. Sure. You still have five mana. Do we path our own Hierarch to shuffle away lands? Yes. I'm a big fan of what you just said. They just kill it. They kill it. They shoot it again, though. That's bad. Let's <laughs> just shoot it again. Okay. Well, maybe they won't see that. Maybe one. they won't. No, nope, they, they did. Saw it. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I got so excited by that idea um, that I did it and not even thinking that, like... Oh, but they got rid of Relic, though. They they didn't, they didn't crack the Relic first. Oh, that's great. Summoning Trap. I, we, I we actually... Knew, I knew, knew it was not going to be a... Was. All right, well, we're getting rid of one of these, one of these lands at the very least. But idiot, it's not a summoning trap, you know. We just keep up Sir Winner's Rejection here. Yeah. Let's see what... Well, I know what they're going to get. It doesn't matter. They're just going to tower. They always get tower. Why did he get Second Mind? Why didn't he get, like, Sanctum of Ugin? Because that's what I would have got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 15 mana. They can put three counters on this guy. Which means we can actually block it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I mean, yeah, that's fine. The thing is, they have two cards in hand, so I'd like to keep Torrential Gear Hulk and Ceremonious Rejection up, especially if they're going to. Um, yeah, that's fine. Right. It's all it's lands for days, I guess. And they play the land this turn. All right, so you grab Sanctum here. But I don't think they have a creature. I don't think they have something that yeah. to trigger that with. Right. Cause... Also, I don't know why you got mine because a tower would have put you up to sixteen. Yeah. Which lets you combat. With Torrential Gear Hulk pretty favorably. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Do we just Torrential Gear Hulk here and block? Uh, it's a hell of a clock. Yeah. And they can only put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They can put three counters, make it a five, five. And we just hope that they don't have, like, it's got to be Sanctum in one other card. But I don't think they would have slow rolled it. Yeah. I don't think they have another thing in their hand. I don't think so either. I mean, this is where we're famously wrong, I'm sure, but whatever. Six mana is the sweet spot for this deck, so. Uh, how locked into white are we for our third color? Well, I mean... Not super, but... 
Advent of the Worm was one of the the selling points of the deck for me. I like going Torrential Gearhulk into Advent of the Worm. That's probably one of one of the coolest things I think you can do. And I have a soft spot for Advent because it I, I want a 5k with it. So it's just kind of like a, a cool pet card of mine. But um, alternatively, you know, if we didn't go that route, it's definitely... We could take it out. All right, he just shot us. That's all he did with it. Yeah, here so, we go. Oh, so they do have... Karn. This is going to be so awkward if we just, like, let them resolve a Karn when we have Ceremonious Rejection and Torrential Gear Hogan. Oh, we're still in blocks. Really? They have their, their last card? It also doesn't make sense that you would get Sanctum after you get Urza. Seriously? None of this makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is, I like, the worst, like... <laughs> so we know they have Sanctum in hand? Yeah. Sure. I'll be at the... Mer Actually, I want to play Colony, but... No, it's... No, it's... <sighs> I think we just have to play Colony here. I think we can take one turn off. It, the potential... They're either, either going to deal with this or deal with Colony. Like... I think they deal with this. Yeah, I think so too. But, like, it's going to draw us two cards. Right, but my, my concern was if we hit Sermonish Rejection, we can just cast it. But the, I think the odds are low. Oh, Pact of Negation is fantastic. Yeah, let's make sure we have five here so we can actually respond to their thing. What? No. Nope. Forest. Deal. That's very. So you have Sanctum of Ugin in hand. So now we get to kill your Karn? And draw two more cards? Oh, this game is over. And we get to... Eh, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't get to do that. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I don't know why you wouldn't have exiled one of these two cards. Yeah, I don't Probably know. Probably this one. Sanctum of Ugin is the last card in your hand, right? We're yeah. not, like, missing anything? Yeah, it's not on the battlefield. He has one card in hand. We saw him get it. <laughs> So we get to draw four cards off of this Sphinx. No, then we know they have we know they have we know they have Sanctum in hand, Thomas. Yes. Oh ho ho ho! Alright, there's that. Yeah. Can we do it one time? The the summoning trap into Gear Hulk into summoning trap into Emerald. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I just want a bicycle. Did we win the first round? We won the second round. No, the first round. Oh, yes. We won. Nice. So we're 1-0 right now. God, feels good. Feels good to be a gangster. I didn't even play Stony Silence just because I, I don't care. Yeah. That was it's super arrogant. And they... <laughs> Consecrated Sphinx Trigger? I scoop. I can't handle it. I'm out. This deck is unbeatable. Yeah, unbeatable. Tron cannot beat this deck. I can't even... Why would you even play Tron if, if this deck... If there was a tournament full of this deck, just go home. <laughs> Why even show up? I don't get it. All right, I'm going to spend $80 to drive out to this tournament, book a hotel, uh, you know, go through the rigmarole of that, do all this practicing, uh, whole tournament's this deck, I'm just going to go home. I mean, that's just smart strategy. That's just knowing when to cut your losses, man. That's a good stratagem. It was a good stratagem. Stratagem. Consecrated Sphinx was pretty good in that matchup. Yeah. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if you saw. Yeah, no. Did you see? <laughs> that mic is good luck. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, let's do one more. All right. No Tron. I'm just going to hover in the queue, and if I notice it's a, it's one of the people we played before with the Tron deck, steering clear. How much is this deck in paper? $9,000. I made that number up, so don't... Uh, Definitely not $9,000. He's right. $52,000. That's exactly how much it is. $700,000. You'll never be able to afford it. It's the advent of the worms that really put it over the top. Yeah, dude. Everyone knows advent of the worms is where it's at. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on advent of the worm. Because that's. It's I not just good. want a bicycle. Don't we all? What is that? What is this? I don't know what that is either. Well, there's hierarchs, so probably like fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's probably true. Hierarchs are like a hundred dollars right now. There are so much. They were so much. My name is Hat Mike. Frank, did you get a haircut? No way, dude. I don't even hair. I don't even. I don't even haircut. Too many people chatting. Yeah, that's the worst. That is the worst. Oh, Bash Four. Yeah, Bash for One. Ooh, I wonder what that is. He's playing, goblins. Yeah, he's playing goblins. Dang, I hate goblins. 
We'll just have to summoning trap them. Trap them and map them. That's what I always say. Trap and map. Are you keeping this? Uh, I, like I'm a bad magic player, so I want to say yes. We draw lands. Our lowest covers are good. We draw spells. Our spells are good. Everything's good. <laughs> Everything's so good. if we draw lands, we're good. If we draw spells, we're good. God dang, that's a stratagem right there. Elves. It's going to be elves. They didn't do anything. I feel comfortable. My comfort level. Oh. See, lands are good. We we're can fine. go turn two Lotus Cobra, turn three Lotus Cobra, Misty Rainforest, play Jace that we're going to draw. Yeah. It's over. Game just ended. Do you guys even Do you guys even lift? Dude, this guy on our deck? Cube is better than constructed, which is why I've done literally 35 cube drafts and no other standard, no other constructed magic uh, in between. So, I agree with you, but I, I am taking a modern break because uh, we brewed this cool deck up, and I feel good about it. Hat Mike, why aren't I wearing a hat today? I am wearing a hat. Sam hat I've been wearing all day. Yeah, all day. like the, the reason you know that his name is Hat Mike is because he's had a hat on, yeah. and this is literally the same hat. So, you... If anything, you should be able to recognize the one hat that gave him his name. I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah. Meh. 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 This looks constructed. I literally said that. I said that's why we're taking a modern break and playing for the first constructed matches we've played in a while. I actually like Knight of the Reliquary in this deck, too, but it doesn't ramp us. You know yeah. what I mean? What we can do is go Lotus Cobra, kill this thing. I think that's good. We can actually path both of these guys. Yeah, do you want to do that? I kind of do. I kind of want to do that too. They're both pains in the butts. Both P P's in the B's. They're both butt pains. Why do we play that one? Because we want two. We're getting two triggers. Oh, yes, wait. we're oh, not yeah, going to yeah, crack yeah. it. Yeah, okay. We would have got the same thing off Forest. That's that's all I'm saying. But, right, but, but this is this is more versatile. I would like you to leave now. Hat might looks familiar. Have you had him on stream before? Yeah, all week. Yeah, like this, this past week. Goodbye, little men. Little creatures. Look at these cobras, bro. There, made that up myself. That's actually Dude, pretty good. Hey. 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 Also, this does let us pact. We can pack during our upkeep. What? Yeah, I get it, man. What are you saying right now? Oh, it's snakes. Oh, my God. Look at this voice of resurgence.deck over here. Mythic 2-drop, green 2-drop.deck up in here. You have to leave. You can't be here. <laughs> you can't be here. What do we have? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight mana. It's ironic how close we are to this Emrakul. Yeah. I don't think we can do anything here. No. Do we even play land? We have to play I'm like, land. I'm not a Slytherin. I'm not anything. I'm going to no these. I'm going to no sir them. <laughs> no, nah, I don't want that mana. I'm going to pass. Hi, Dad. Hi, Hat Dad. <laughs> Two dads. I think the point that Hat is making is that keeping Misty in hand is more explosive. How? Like we, like we were going, like playing our fours lets us path both of them anyway. Right. And then like playing, like playing Misty, like would have let us have four mana on this turn. It's still we would have played Forest instead and cracked this for four mana. Yeah, you're right. As long as you don't crack this, you get the same amount of mana from both. Yeah, you're right. Like it, nothing, nothing changes. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Hi, One, hi, two, Ark. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're close to we're close to Gear Hulk right here. I'm just gonna attack with both and assume you don't have a resto, because I'd cry. Don't make me cry. We also have pack navigation for it. Yeah, but then they get two. Oh, it's our turn, I guess. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I like I like doing stuff on my turn. Can we just draw summoning trap just one time off yeah. the tippity top? God, I really want a summoning trap on their turn though. We gotta do it on our turn. I'll go to eight. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'm not doing anything about it either. Where did this blue come from? When did they become Bant Boys? Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Do we have ten mana? We're we're actually unreasonably close to this Emrakul. Yeah. Do we just want to like Gear Hulk now and then just pass one of these dummies? Probably, actually. I think you're correct. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can just play this tapped. Yes. Bluesels. Okay. Yes. Another Bluesels. Gearums McHulkums. Hulkums McGearitude. Pathums Hulk. McSnakeums. None of what you're saying is... Put it on anything. your fancy boy. Put it on your fancy boy? You heard me. What does that mean? You know what it means. What? No, I don't. Don't be like this when I'm, you know. I am like this. I saw you. I saw you peeping. What? Peeping that fancy boy. Who's peeping? Stop it. Who's peepees? You're going to jail. What? <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> that one kind of slipped out. Stop being weird. Okay. Well, this is desperate. I love it when they crack their horizon can up immediately. I'm like... They have nothing. They're digging. Their desperation is real. Uh, okay. I'll get a land. What do we get in here? Get an island. Look at my snake mana. Okay. I'll say no. I'll say no. We could have packed at that, but then they get a guy. So that yeah. seems bad. I agree with you. If we if we actually draw. Um, a, fetch, a land. fetch land. Can we cast this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven from it coming in play. Twelve, thirteen, four. We're literally one away from casting an Emrakul if we hit a fetch land here. That's unbelievable to me. Why are you the way that you are, Emrakul? Did they go to four here? Like we have packed. Like they have yeah. two cards. Like we attack with the cobras and and then they and they're dead two cobras. Yeah. If they have resto, we just packed it. We don't care. Yeah, exactly. They do. They don't. Oh no. That's not happening at all. Oh no. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. We could have held back one, like attack for three because of exalted. Oh, I'd rather put them at two because then both cobras are lethal. So if they have a way to deal with a cobra, they can still block the other one next turn. Hmm, you're right. Like, if they top deck path, it makes path less of an out now because they have to trade with their voice. Oh, they can't attack. No attacks. I guess we're going to pay. You will pay. Would be a wise choice to pay. I agree. Oh, that would have been so good, too. We're drawing all the cards that are not... <laughs> we're drawing these at the... Like, do we just do this? Like, is this? Do we just put them? We make force them to have it? Yeah, they always do, right? Oh, they didn't have it. We won. Great success. Nice. The problem with disdainful stroke is not only does it trigger their voice of resurgence, but it's probably only good against their collected company. Yeah. Uh. I don't think our sideboard's great against them. No. I think not. our deck might be fine. Yeah. Get these invocations out of your deck? Why? They're great. This card looks fantastic on Magic Online. The problem with the, the card in real life is that you can't read into the text. Once you can read the text, the card looks sweet. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, I have no problem with any of these. The art is great. Uh, it's a very, very thematic Amon Kit card. I think the border is fine. Uh, Dispel is the same problem with Disdainful Stroke. I guess they have Path. I can see bringing in one Dispel, but I don't know what's... I don't think it's better than yeah, Mana Leak or I don't Path. Think so I don't either. Mean, like, it just seems worse. I mean, we can just mana leak those cards as well, which is also fine. Right. And mana leak is also more versatile. Like, I want to be able to mana leak a stupid, a stupid idiot. Like a voice resurgence. Correct. That's exactly what I meant, actually. Binding. What does that mean? Relic for night. Nah, I don't care about relic. Leak seems worse than really. Oh, hey. Leak counters. Is that a little... Is that a little... That's junk A little J JC? I don't think his hand is good. I don't like it. I don't think so either. You seem worse than Dispel. Got him. You did get him. Wrecked him. 
Sticker in his hand. You don't like this one? Not really. You don't like four drop? Oh. Uh, I have to draw double green? But it's got a Jace. So yeah. I guess YOLO. God, yeah. What up? What up, John? Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, I will keep this hand. And it's rough, but... It's got a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, they went to five? They can't win. Oh, keep, we you get a, on, we keep, keep you on top. Oh, Dave Dame's here. Hi, Dave Dame. My God. The, your whole office is here. Yeah. The whole town. Oh, they started with Bajuka Bog? Joke's on them. They, wait, they mulligan to five with the green-white deck and they opened on Bajuka Bog? That seems bad. Something. <laughs> something's weird. Given it's the fourth, you can also have consumed 20 ounces of beer and we'd say, okay, well, that's good. I appreciate that, uh... That what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Help me out. Well, I don't know. Approval? Is that yeah. the word we want? Maybe. Okay. Good talk. What? You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Where you going, man? Wow, we did it. We did it. It's uh oh, good. it's magic. The snake's with you. That's good. We can actually just Jace next turn and bounce this guy if they don't play anything? Yeah. Does that seem good? I think it's fine. I think I'm playing another... What are they doing here? Double ooze? That's a lot of oozes. I kind of just want to... I just like playing this and playing, playing Corsair. Playing Corsair, yeah. Yeah, that seems great. Let's do it. I don't think we can lose this game, but uh, those are some famous last words if I ever heard them, so we'll see. <gasps> oh! I gotta hate it when it does that. It was like I was trying to activate. Thankfully, I didn't have enough mana to uh, to complete the activation. I was like, I thought this was a trigger. I was like, why, wait, what did I get mana from? <laughs> oh, it's the top of my library. I see. Oh, things to come. So one, two, three. Actually, next time we can go Lotus Cobra, Island, Jace. Seems good. I like it. This deck also doesn't strike me as a deck that has ways to deal with creatures. So yeah. I don't know how we're getting creatures in our graveyard. By, by them dying. <laughs> In combat, the truest form to get a creature in the graveyard. Just whiff. He ain't gonna whiff. Three scavenging gooses? <sighs> Woo! What? Oh, you're just gonna eat. I see. I'm I'm tempted what? to trade with this Lotus, Lotus Cobra just to get two of them out of the way. What is he trying to eat, though? He's Then he has scavenging gooses in his graveyard for this scavenging oh, so gooses. Whatever, you can have one, three, three. I'll take two, and you can lose a news. That's fine. Take two, lose a news. <sighs> yeah, we're actually going to Jace here because we can... Uh... Oh, we don't get to play more lands, though. That's sad. I guess we just still Jace. Bounce this. Block, block. Yeah, sure. Another scavenger here is kind of like... They can't share the food. You guys can't. Actually, one, two. This is actually we have enough. We have enough to play Cobra and Jace. Oh, that's right. That's what we're doing. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, we have infinite Cobras. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. This is basically a million lands. We can also just play Corsair here. I like Jace and set up for Corsair next turn. Yeah, me too. Let's do that. Yes. Blue. Okay. Gain a life. Okay. Yes. Always blue. Jason's. All right, so we're gonna draw three. We're gonna put land under. There's no land. Okay, <laughs> that's that's something. Uh, let's put Jason on top in case they can kill it. Gear Hulk, we're a little bit off from you, so there you go. All right. Were we gonna bounce this? We were. I forgot our plan. I don't know what's going on anymore. Magic's hard. There's a lot of things going on. I guess we can just... Yeah, we can just let him die. We can also just path it next turn. I think we're in fine shape. We can also double block here. They have one creature in their graveyard? They didn't actually... Interesting. All right. Cobra's gonna die. Yeah, one of them is. Sure. Okay. Well, like, but then I mean, we get to eat the other one, right? So, Well, he's going to pump that, the one that's blocking the scavenging ooze. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, but then this one dies, right? Well, he's... That's better. Okay, yeah. 
I didn't see that coming because I'm just not used to playing against this weirdo deck. But Jace survives. And... Sure. We can actually path one, bounce one, and then like... We're... Like, we're in okay shape. I probably want to path this. Yeah, it makes him spend more mana. Like, and it makes it so he can't pump his oozes with anything next turn. Because he has to tap down his green sources. Yeah, not actually. Oh, I want to get rid of this. This is what we said okay. path, right? Just because I think the ability Sorry, is far I more you versatile. Said that. My bad. I forgive you. This guy can be a 4 4. Maybe a 5 5. I'm just going to attack you for 4. We're at 17. Sure. If you want to attack Jace, knock yourself out. I got another Jace. We're good. We might be jumping with higher arc. I mean, it just depends on if we want the. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I like. Boy. I like that art. I like it. All. This is a good art. That's my favorite. That's my favorite noble higher arc art, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So, you're going to Jace. Yeah, I'll block. It's it's my favorite art of noble higher arc, where she's in a dark room. Noble higher dark. Higher dark. I like that. I did that myself. So we bounce. We know you have a scavenging ooze in hand. There's scavenging ooze here. There's scavenging ooze everywhere. There's just ooze everywhere. Because <laughs> I really want to just Jace so I can play something else here. Yeah. And I, we need lands. Also, if we can hit land summoning trap, boy, we just go to town, right? Right. Correct. Correct indeed. Where's Chain Whirler when you need it? Bop, 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 bop. Summoning trap, land. Okay, none of those things are are what actually happened here. You're going to go back, and you're going to go back. Where are the lands, man? Where are my lands at? I'm just going to keep snap path. Yeah. For obvious reasons. I wonder if we should have attacked there. I don't know. I don't think so. I think we win this long game by, yeah. a, by a sizable margin, but we really have to get past this Torrential Gear Hulk, Emrakul, ridiculous pocket. Do we path our own guy? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility, yeah. to be quite honest. Like, we put the courser on uh, the scavenging ooze with the counter on it already, and then path it. I really don't want to get rid of my courser, though. Oh, they're just coming out to two again? That's so weird. <clears throat> I'll snap. Snap it up. Snap, snap it up. So they pump with everything, right? They, yeah. They, they do a pump arena. They pump their whole team. Yeah, maybe we just path the Snapcaster. Okay. <laughs> I want to keep Jace alive because I really just don't want to have to reinvest the mana in Jace. No. By the way. If you do it this way, though, they can still go 1, 2, 3, 4, activate, and then still pump this guy, making it a 4-4, four, four, which means we do lose our Courser. Yeah. But the alternative is losing Jace. So we want to keep this guy because it's what's going to let us ramp. I guess we'll find out why they wouldn't eat this. Well, they wouldn't eat the Snap Target because it makes blocks really bad for them. Yes. That's weird. Oh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Sure. That's fine. Oh, I guess we could just... Path, we could path their guy. I just don't want to do it because of the stupid... I keep forgetting about the... I think we, I think we do it. Yeah, I am I mean, I'm on board with it. Like, we're going to draw Torrential Gear Hulk and Emrakul like 20 turns in a row. Also, we have a Torrential Gear Hulk on the top, which just blocks their guys for quite a quite a bit. Yeah, let's get another green. Yes. Oh, we gain a life. And we're drawing a Misty, so that's actually pretty good with Lotus Cobra in play. We just need to hit the, the good the good good. I said yes, but I meant no. My mind said my mind said no, but my hand said yes. 
Uh, the reason that they didn't exile the path and why we didn't think of that is probably the exact same. It's a very obscure play. You rarely exile spells with scavenging ooze because you're trying to maximize the number of power and life that you can put onto a scavenging ooze. And on a board like this, it's all very relevant. Every point that you can put onto a scavenging ooze is relevant. So you're locked into this mindset of where you're like, I just... How many creatures are in the graveyard? Scavenging ooze, Lotus Cobra, Core Serve Crufix. The, the answer is actually the same for both, I think. Ooh. Excellent. What's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Let's put two lands back. Play a land. Could have put Gear Hulk back, actually. That way, like, we're guaranteed another wheel. Yeah. I think it's still good. Yeah, I think so, too. Do we even do it now, or do we just do it on their turn? I mean, are we in any danger of dying on their, like, on their... Well, like, it doesn't matter, like... No, not really. Just do it on their we're turn. We're at 18. Yeah, like, we're just gonna do it on their turn. Yeah, it seems pretty good. We could have actually attacked, too, put them to 9, but... This is modern Bant. Mant, if you will. <laughs> It's not man. Don't call it Mant. Okay, one issue is that if they if we do get some if we do hit torrential gear hulk, they get to eat this, perhaps? Maybe. Either way, we can just put a pretty innocuous land into play here. We'll get a temple garden. Uh one, two, three, four, five. We can put it into play tapped and we uh, Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Uh okay. Yes. Green. One time. Hey, there it is. And Miracle. <laughs> and I love... Don't care about this guy anymore. I'll just keep the Jace alive. <laughs> wow, he found a way to deal 15 damage to Emrakul. <laughs> I mean, they, they're in top tech, but they have one card plus yeah. the, the Horizon Canopy. I don't think they're going to have an answer for Emrakul, but boy, they might. <laughs> <laughs> criminal. <laughs> Actual criminal, dude. All right, so we uh, we uh, draw three cards and try to... Uh, I mean, they have one more Scavenging Goose is the problem. Yeah. We just Consecrated Sphinx here. We're at 17. Uh, you're going back, and probably one of these is going back, I would imagine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we just play Consecrated Sphinx here. Yeah. And are we shuffling now so we don't just draw those two cards off of our Consecrated Sphinx? Um, <laughs> I wonder if we can just Torrential Gear Hulk, actually. Because they, they could hit this, right? right. But if they do, and well, this guy's going to be huge is the real problem. We could actually bounce this guy. That would have been good, too. But we really don't want Emrakul in our hand, so... Yeah. I think we just play Scavenging Goose. They're going to... Oh, actually, when they end of turn... Is when we'll do it. Yeah, they're going to make... They're going to do things at the end of... Oh, this is going to be great. Hold on. Oh, they still have Bird of Paradise, though. Dang it. They're so close. Whatever. We still have a Gear Hulk. Oh, they might actually... Yeah, that's fine. They're still doing it, so... Just want... Yeah, like, fire it off and hope for the best. Oh, gotta, gotta. Don't see it. You didn't see it before. Don't see it now. Don't see it. Oh, God, they saw it. They saw the line. Eat Lotus Cobra. <laughs> what? <laughs> but we didn't hit it. Oh, they did exile. Okay, it. all right. Okay. Oh, you said it, and I thought they did. No, yeah, they got. Right I saw Lotus Cobra disappear, and I was like, <gasps> "Wow!" Oh man, I felt so bad, dude. We know there's an Emrakul on top. Yes, this being the case, we probably should have consecrated Sphinx. But I mean, whatever. It's funny how good scavenging uses end up being, and they had three of them. So, like, yeah. just having to deal with these three scavenging uses has been pretty obnoxious. If we block here, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
I mean, we're not dead. We're not dead, but we're not in great shape. Who's Baby Ledoux? I have no idea what that even means. What are you saying right now, Banshee Hero? I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything either. And if they attack with this, I'm just blocking. I'm not going to take a million damage from this thing. Oh, all right. Yep, you got it. So let's get a breeding pool, I guess. All right. Shuffle City. Sunning Trap on top. That's not it. Kind of like One, two, three, trap. four, and then we'll have four left over. I guess we just play Consecrated Sphinx, but God, this, this scavenging is really killing us. And they get to pump their guys twice. I'm actually pretty amazed at how much work this Gavany Township is doing. I'm probably just going to bounce this guy because I think it keeps us alive. That's no good. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We actually stay alive if we you can do it now. What's going on? What are you doing? There you go. Got your gift. Just what I always wanted. Oh, they might have collected company. Actually, that might be their hit. No. All right. Well. They're just Gavany Townshipping, sure. Man, it looks pretty bad here. Yeah. This deck is also quite tricky to play. Jace. They always go for Jace. We could just hit a summoning trap on top. We can't. Yep, no blocks. I feel like that consecrated Sphinx turn was really the deciding factor here. Yeah, I think so too. Scavenging ooze again. Alright, well. Oh, wait. We're at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three lethal block here. Take infinite. Consecrated Sphinx draws us path, though. He's going to get voice tokens when we cast on. His turn. What are we gonna do? I mean, nothing. Like, they can also pump, so we can get rid of three guys. So, two, four, six. I mean, we'd probably be dead to those guys because that would be nine. So we have to actually find an answer. Now I think we're dead. <laughs> let's let's draw them cards. Interesting. Not good, but interesting. Sure. So everything has three power. We can deal with three things. Yeah, we're dead. I wish I could mana leak their, their Gavany Township activation. That might keep us alive, but not really. Actually, it would, because we can take two, four, five, six, seven. No. 
Nope, we'll block this floater. We'll block... There gotta be a three, right? Yeah, we'll block you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we gain one, but we take one, so. And we know we're drawing breeding pools, so like there's really no. Okay. See you later. I don't know if I actually like Manalik in the deck. Yeah. It's never it has I feel like it hasn't been that good. Yeah, it really So we take been. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. All right. You got it. So we try again. So do we want Snapcasters, Mana Leaks, and um like would we just rather those be like better utility creatures? Um Maybe it's just more creatures. Like maybe another yeah. Corsair, another I don't. I don't think it's Snapcaster because we actually, if we're taking out Mana Leaks, like it's just going to get worse. Right. Like that's what I'm saying. Like we, like we just cut like the Snapcaster package entirely. We don't actually have anything good to bring in here. Yeah, we don't. Like this, we have nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Stinkbutt's got it. Yeah, we can take out Snapcasters and bring in like. Take out these four. We can bring in another Cobra, another Advent, another Corsair. Yeah. I, and then I think like that one seems of, good. And then one of something else. So add you, add you, add you. Take out you. Oh, another path. Sure, four paths seems good. Yeah, that could be good. And all these other matches are still up, interestingly enough. All right, reasonable hand. No, this hand's actually pretty good. I agree. Any fetch land, and this is a turn three consecrated sphinx. Oh, that's spicy. I agree with you. Next, we can go cobra colonnade, and then we have on turn three we have three lands. This, and if one of the lands is a fetch, we're good. We have eight fetches. We got two draws for fetches. This is the one time I want to actually draw a fetch. Hmm. I don't think we're pathing that. No. It's one time I'm going to say no. One, two, three, four, five, six from a fetch land. Seems pretty good. Come on, fetch land, one time. You lose on some disruption for go because we cut the mana leaks. Yeah, but, I mean, we already have packed path and trap. Like, we, there's ten, 10 targets for Gear Hulk, which is a good amount. Uh, Roachman, we actually did a, a red, white, and blue, uh, cube draft before this. Oh, double hierarch. Fascinating. Scavenging is again? Because they always have scavenging. Okay. That guy will likely kill. Yeah, like, we should just pat that guy, and then... And then be done with that. Goodbye. And then they take four. Seems good. One, two, three, four. Well, we just get to play Consecrated and Sphinx next turn, I guess. And then uh, keep up Ceremonious Rejection. This person also left out Advent and the Worm as well. So, like, we have even more things. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the three Advents. So. Yeah, I don't think the deck is actually lacking in... Uh... So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen targets. Yeah, that's a lot. Been watching your YouTube, Frank. Finally, got to get you live. Whoop whoop. RGMP Grimwolf, thanks so much, man. Really, really appreciate it. Or ArchMP. I, I don't know how to parse that, so you gotta let me know. Gotta let me know. I think it's Arkham Grimwolf. What if it's Arkham PG Rim Wolf? I think it's Arkham Grim Wolf. That's probably accurate. I feel like the deck's not lousy with Gearhulk Snapcast targets. If you're losing the mana leak, you need to find some sort of instant speed interaction. To re that's fine. 
Did they just Dromokus command that? Well, they Dromokus. They put a counter on this and fought, fought this? Fought her, Fine. Fought our snaky boy. I think we want to play this first. Oh, Arch Emperor Grimwolf. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. And this is where we play Consecrated Sphinx, draw Emrakul, Emrakul, and then our turn draw Emrakul. <laughs> wow. I don't think that's incorrect. So, uh... So let's see it. <laughs> God, do we just... Do we just... Do we just summoning trap EOT? They have blue. I think I just want to... I think I just want to land this guy. Yeah. yeah, we'll land this guy and then we'll summoning trap something fun. Give me them cards. Oh, boy. Dude, I just want to play Consecrated Sphinx in all formats. Can I do that? The answer is yes. Would have hit a Torrential Gear Hulk <laughs> at the very least. That's pretty good. You getting hungry? Not a bit. Okay. I'm in a constant state of I can eat. Okay. Well, they didn't do anything. I mean, we're just going to pass, right? Yeah. We're just going to attack for four and then pass. Yeah. Oh, six, I mean, because it's got... Exalted. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> is there a reason to upkeep the summoning... Tra is that a re is what a reason? Uh, Because they have blue. Uh, no, there, I mean, you don't want to... You want to do it at their end step. That, like, w that way when we get our thing, like... They can attack. Yeah, they can attack, and they're not going to interact with it on their turn. And if we upkeep it, and they go, yeah, you got an Emrakul, that's fine. Then they reflect a mage back to our hand. Then, Oh, that was a message from five minutes ago? That's weird. Also, we have... Uh, oh, they cracked this to draw. <gasps> so, yeah, also there's the fact that they do ha they have shown us Reflector Mage. So... You gonna crack that? Sure. Oh, joking. I was joking about M Manike saying you draw consecutive... Oh, I see. I see. Is that a reason to upkeep? Yeah. It's all making sense now. What is going on here? Look at this. Look at this sizable knight. Must put, be knights. Put counters on the guys. You got it. This old this old song and dance again. A... I'm just gonna keep drawing. Oh, we got the double summon pact. Oh. oh. Okay, you got it. Hey, that knight is uh, it's gonna hit hit us for a lot. I mean, okay. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm tempted to just take ten here, to be quite honest me with too. you. Me too. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm like ten, me brah. Ow. And he had a trapperino. Bump, 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba Unified will. Okay, I'll untap and do it again. I'll just keep doing it. Oh, actually, this is even better because if they counter this, free. Yes. And they just go to two here, so that's cool. Oh man, turn to a hook into summoning trap. Yes. Let's try not to die. How does like, that sound? I like I like not dying. Same. Same, same. Oh, you're gonna path this guy? Okay. Let's get Let's get an island. What do you mean I'm transforming it into no hat, Mike? I, the hat is right here. He's a real no hat, Mike. Sitting in his no hat life. Making all his no hat plans with no hat. Why don't you have a hat? It's right here. Thank you. Dale Ellington the third, welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna block and then we're gonna do a thing. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to do this guy. I dare you to counter it. Boy, I dare you. They didn't. Okay. So we're just going to trap here because that's more powerful. That makes me powerful wizard. 
I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna cast it. I'm gonna hit an Emrakul because boy, we're do it. I'll take it on the Sphinx. Any order. They didn't counter anything, man. We just got to resolve it. God, that's so un unfulfilling. Can we just activate this and kill them? Probably. Seems good, right? Yeah, seems all right. They have one card in hand, so. All right. Eight you. If you have path, you got us. But then, like, we can still just block this guy with we have two blockers, so. Yeah. Your last card is Path or Collected Company. Collected Company, uh, Reflector Mage, Reflector Mage. <laughs> bouncer, bouncer Blocker. Yeah, that still doesn't do it. We still have a blocker. I guess they pump and then we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to one. We block here. We go to one. Patchouli oil or axe? These are just random questions. These aren't even like... <laughs> Patchouli oil or axe? Like just a fireman's axe. <laughs> I'll go with the axe. <laughs> that is a more versatile tool for everyday living. Patchouli oil only smells good. Axe can chop down trees. Who won the game? Can uh, break down doors. Are we 3-0? Uh, yeah, it's 3-0. Deck perfect. is sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A uh, little modern reprieve from the Vintage Cube. We'll be back tomorrow doing some more Vintage Cube. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe on the video below. And uh, if you want to support the channel or support the content I create, you can check out my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. Links are in the description. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Later.